Hello everyone. In the last video, I showed you how to put a Debian disk image onto a USB stick so we could install it onto a computer. So today, I'm gonna go ahead and install that on the computer. So the first step is to just put it in one of the USB slots and then power it on. Now as that powers on, I wanna press F12 a few times. It could be different on other machines, but usually it's F12 and you get this boot menu. Okay, and that just lets you select where you're gonna boot this thing from. So the first option would be the hard drive internal to it. The next one is this thing I just plugged in, the USB stick. Um, the next one would be a network, next one would be a CD-ROM. We're gonna select the USB stick that I just put in and press enter. And here we go, you can go the graphical install or the non-graphical, just standard install. I go the non-graphical one. Okay, so English for me, Australia. American English, now that's the key map. That just means which keys are where. Now in Australia, we use the American one. Okay, now it's looking for some extra things to run this particular laptop that aren't on that USB stick. And it's asking if I have them to put them in, but I don't, so I'm just going to pick no. Now I don't have this connected to any network whatsoever. So it's gonna fail on the network setup here. At the moment, it's trying to set up a network. It won't work, but that doesn't matter. I just wanna get this thing up and running. Okay, network auto config failed, continue. It doesn't really matter. So I'll just select do not configure the network at this time because I have no network. Okay, host name, call it Debian. Uh, password, give it a password. CWN88, do it again. CWN88. And now pick just a normal user, a non root user. So I'll just call it CWN88 all around. Password, CWNE88, CWNE88. Okay, for the time zone, I'll pick Queensland. Okay, so now we're getting the disk ready to install this on, the one inside. So what we want to select is use the entire disk. So I don't care what was on there, I'm gonna blow the whole thing away. Now you've got two options here, which one is it? Now, that one there is a 120 gigabyte um, sand disk drive, I know that's the internal one because the other one, 7.7, .7, that's the USB stick. We're not installing it there, we're installing it here. So click that one. And uh, all partition, all files in one partition, just go that. And say finish, yep. And over here, confirm that you wanna write those changes, yes. And it'll go ahead and install now. Okay, now it's asking about a network mirror. That's where it can get software from, but at the moment I don't have a network, so I'm not going to bother too much. I could say yes, and pick an Australian one, just the default one but we don't have a uh, network, remember? So we're gonna have to just not do that at the moment. So continue without a network mirror for now. Okay, now these are the options of what you wanna install. Most of it uh, is pretty right, except I like to add the SSH server because we will use that in the future. And I'll talk about that in a later video. Okay, it's just about finished, but I have to install the uh, bootloader, which is just something that makes it boot up, okay? so. We're gonna say, yes, we want to do that, and we want to install it to, again, which device? We know it's the SanDisk one, not that verbatim micro, which is my little USB stick. So that's the device. Finish it up, and that's it. Okay, so now I'll take the USB stick out, and it will reboot. And this initial thing that you'll see that's the grub bootloader that we just installed. Now if you don't do anything, it'll just boot in a couple of seconds. Okay, and here we are. And there's the username I put in, so that's the one I'm gonna use. And the password. And give it a sec. And we'll be in, there's the mouse. And there's everything else. Okay, so there it is. And uh, at the top left here, you see some software. Click down here, see more software. And that's about that. Okay, so that's it for today. I've got the Linux laptop ready to go. In the next video, I'm gonna set up some more equipment and over time build on that and build on that until we've got a bit of a setup here that we can uh, really get into and, and learn more about the actual networking and some Linux things as we go along. So until then, take it easy.